Well, I had this lyric that went, um, uh, on the first day the Lord gave you television, on the next he delivered a couch. Tell me how do you explain f Boy Island if the universe wanted you out and about? And uh, I wasn't allowed to say f and I wasn't allowed to use an existing TV show. This is a celebration and, uh, and it's the Opera House. And I felt very flattered to be asked to contribute to that. I just got really intrigued by what you want to say about a place like this on, on an anniversary like this. Like how do you talk about its impact? I actually got really hooked in by the challenge. We had come to the conclusion that we wanted to say something about how this building is a monument to bravery, to artistic ambition, to pushing through the voices that said this is a folly or this art doesn't matter. And I thought about how we all have that conservative voice in our head, that, that the building acts as a metaphor for what you can do within yourself if you just uh, take a risk and, and, and put your, stick your neck out. And so I thought I'm going to write the conservative voice. I'm going to be the voice in your head that says you shouldn't take risks and you shouldn't be ambitious because, the, because failure is too risky and that you'll get hurt basically. So just play it safe. Our irony requires to understand, to trust that the audience will immediately get that the intention is the opposite of the content. By choosing to do an ironic song, it is definitely appealing, I think, to the good side of the Australian you know, re rebellious spirit. I think because I'm a lover of words, I really, weirdly, it was a lyric that came late because I added a, a section when, when the amazing orchestrator musical supervisor, Elliot, um, added a double time jazz thing at the end. I, I added some lyrics. So my favorite lyric as a lyricist is find a doctrine, get it locked in, build a box and stay in it because of the triple internal rhyme. The one lyric that is uh, the heartbreaking lyric is uh, there's this show uh, that's called F*** Boy Island, that they call F Boy Island, uh, which is a reality show. And when I heard about it, I thought, it's, that's the end times. If this building's a monument to bravery and artistic thinking, F*** Boy Island is a monument to absolute and just, I mean, I get it. If I watched it, I'd get addicted to it. I'm not beyond it. So by the way, what I replaced it with is the word content, which for one syllable sounds a bit like I'm saying cunt, so I got my swear word into it. <laughs> I had this fantastic moment just a few weeks ago. My 14 year old who doesn't talk much, he's the more sort of quiet of the two. Um, he listened to it and afterwards I said, what do you think? And he went, yeah, it's good. And I went, well, how did it make you feel? And he went, it made me want to do the opposite. And I went, that's all. I just hope by the end you're like, actually screw that voice. Like, I'm not gonna to listen to that voice. <laughs>